Good evening and welcome to History Today. Tonight we will be endeavouring to establish a cogent idea of British civic life, our institutions and so forth, from pre-Roman times to our own. Professor Lewis, I wonder if you would agree with radical Celtic historians that the notion of a centralised bureaucracy is essentially alien to the British character. Indeed, although the essential flux which informs us nebulous a term as character means that this theory topples over like a fallen tree. And that's what you did when you had your BCG. <laughs> I don't care about anything you say today, because tomorrow I'm going to Marine World in Brighton. <laughs> yeah, in a special bus. <laughs> And you can't even go to the toilet on your own. And the driver's on, like, strict instructions not to go over three miles per hour in case you get scared. Even if that were the case, which it is not, it still remains the fact that it is I who am going to Brighton Marine World and not you. So, if we may return to the discussion in hand, I wonder if I might inquire, Professor Lewis, whether, all things considered, you have been to Brighton Marine World. <laughs> <laughs> British civic development changes course radically with the Great Fire of London, after which there was the opportunity to restructure and recodify the way records were kept. So that as tiny a spark in as lowly a place as Pudding Bowl Lane... That's where you have your hair cut. <laughs> It is not until the 19th century... And you eat your dinner in snot and bogey pie, haven't you? <laughs> you need special medicine to live. <laughs> and I'm the one going to Brighton Marine World. <laughs> it is, of course, possible to achieve an exact dating for such artefacts. Uh, this coin, for example, is quite clearly inscribed with the letters C-L-M-X-I-I. I have observed the obscription. Which is your best ever spelling of climax. <laughs> <laughs> See a whelk stall outside a South London pub. Oh, yes, yes. And it's got to be about five o'clock on a hot Saturday afternoon. And all that's left on the display tray are a few sorry-looking jelly deals, one whelk, and a couple of dried-up, shriveled prawns. I have observed such a roadside establishment. That's Brighton Marine World. 